praise God today is going to be awesome and great. As I want to preach a very powerful deliverance message, I titled Destroying the Rod of the Wicked. Hallelujah. Beloved, we are still in our season of unlimited access. And today, we are going to assess the Father and we are going to be empowered to destroy the rod of the wicked. Hallelujah. Psalm 125 verse 3. I read, For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. O oh God, answer speedily the prayers of the righteous. O oh God, arise and defend the righteous so that the righteous will not put their hands onto iniquity. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, help me today as I preach this powerful deliverance message. Let as many that shall be hearing me from far and near be blessed and be delivered physically, spiritually, financially, maritally, in Jesus' mighty name. So be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen. Dearly beloved, the word rod is used many times in the Bible. Hallelujah. Even God himself uses a rod. In the book of Psalm 23 verse 4, the scripture says, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. Shepherds are also known by the use of their rods. Hallelujah. Because shepherds use his rods to control, direct, discipline, and protect the flock. Hallelujah. This reminds me of the rod of Moses. When God empowered the rod of Moses, the rod that Moses was carrying for 40 years became a serpent. Hallelujah. And God said to Moses, Today I have made thee, I have made you a God unto Pharaoh. And so when Moses stepped into the palace of Pharaoh, Hallelujah. Pharaoh thought Moses was still the same Moses that he knew. Not knowing that the Lord has empowered Moses and have empowered the rod of Moses. Hear this. And as they were just contending, and a time came, Moses put down his rod. And Pharaoh commanded his sorcerers and his magicians to put down their rods. But the rod of Moses swallowed the rod of the sorcerers and the magicians of Pharaoh of Egypt. Hallelujah. Today I come to announce to you that that thing in your hand, God is empowering it today. So he can bring you profit to the glory of God. In Jesus mighty name. My beloved, the rod represents natural symbol of authority. Therefore, the rod of the wicked represents the authority of the wicked. It is the staff of office of the wicked. Beloved, whatever staff of office, rod of the wicked, that the enemies have been using against you in your family, today they are going to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. They are destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The rod of the wicked represent limitations, boundaries. Hear me? Boundaries are meant to prevent expansion. Satan wants to keep you and confine you within the limit he set for your forefathers. But I come to say no by the word of God. Every rod of the wicked controlling your life, manipulating your finances, manipulating your marriage. I command them, destroy it today. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The rod of the wicked also is the rod of punishment, affliction, oppression, manipulation, destruction, pledge, and instigations. Whatever means by which the enemies are using in order to oppress, manipulate, afflict you. Today I command it destroy. The rod of the wicked shall no longer have power over you because you are the righteous. 
Praise God. And you are not going to put your hand into iniquity at all. God is answering your prayers. God is responding. And God is giving you a miracle. As you are hearing the sound of my voice today. In Jesus mighty name. The devil uses the rod to release unexplainable diseases upon the sons of men. Today, I command the rod of the wicked to be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. In the world today, we hear domestic violence. When you hear domestic violence, it is a sign of the presence of the wicked rod of authority. Today, I have come in the name of the Lord and I command every instrument they are using. The rod of the wickedness of the devil. I command them destroy today. In Jesus mighty name. So be it. Hallelujah. Psalm 125 verse 3. I read it again. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. The scripture says shall not rest. Means it is programmed to expire. I command the rod of the wicked to expire today. Every means by which the enemies are using to keep you in bondage, I command them to expire today in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What are the lots of the righteous represents? The lots of the righteous represents your portion, your location that God has given to you when you came into this world. Your territory, your fortunes, your finances, your wife, your children, your destiny. Beloved, nobody shall take what belongs to you from you anymore. From today, in the mighty name of Jesus. What do we then do about the rod? Hallelujah. Number one, you have to receive the rod of God. How do you receive the rod of God? You receive the rod of God by giving your life to Jesus. Be born again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Hear me. After Apostle chapter 1 verse 8, the scripture says, Ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem and in Judea. Beloved, if you are born again and you are not empowered with the Holy Spirit, hear me, there is no how you can sanction or destroy the rod of the wicked. Hallelujah. Because it is not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of God. That is why you need the Holy Spirit. If you must destroy the rod of the wicked. Hallelujah. Isaiah 10, 27, the scripture says, And it shall come to pass on that day, that their burden shall be taken off from their shoulders, and their yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Beloved, when you assess the anointing, anointing means the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord means the Holy Spirit. When it comes upon a man, every rod of the wicked shall be destroyed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two, what you need to do with the rod is to destroy the rod of the wicked. Break the rod of wicked into pieces. Isaiah 14 verse 5. Hallelujah. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Beloved, that is why it is essential for you to access the Father. Because the Father has already destroyed the rod of the wicked on your behalf. If you are born again and you assess the Father through Jesus Christ's blood, Beloved, the rod of the wicked is automatically destroyed. Praise God. Beloved, the scripture says, from the day of John the Baptist up till now, the kingdom of heaven has been sovereign violence and the violence taken it by force. You have to arise in prayers, in fasting, and destroy the rod of the wicked. I prophesy every rod of the wicked controlling, manipulating, afflicting your life with diseases, frustrating your marriage and children. I command them destroyed today by the power of the anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the word of God, you are set free in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Begin to assess your lot. Begin to enjoy your lot. Enjoy your lot in the area of marriage. Enjoy your lot in the area of finances. Enjoy your lot in the area of physical, spiritual blessing. In Jesus' mighty name, so be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen. Dearly beloved, I'm stopping here today. If you have had me and you have not given your life to Jesus, you won't be able to assess the Father. You will not be able to have the power to destroy the lords of the wicked. So say after me, Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, so be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen. My name is Matthew Asia, the leader and commander of Apostolic Army International. Dearly beloved, support Apostolic Army. Pray for Apostolic Army. 
Because apostolic army is the end time army that God has sent into this world to bring soul into the kingdom. Above all, worship in apostolic army every Sunday and you will not regret it. Always call me on plus 234 811 0020505. Call me for prayers, call me for counseling, and I will pray for you. And don't forget, Apostolic Army, we are dogged and rugged, we are tested and trusted. Apostolic Army, we confront and we conquer. Apostolic Army, we take no nonsense from the devil. Worship it all this Sunday, and you will assess the Father. And the Lord of the wicked shall be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. So be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen.